This video is sponsored by Zep. Don't settle for clean. Try Zep and discover next level clean. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It is 2019, and the last time I cleaned my car was 2018. So we're, uh, we're gonna do that again. And the first thing I wanted to do was clean the outside of my car because it was disgusting. So we took her to the car wash and we got her nice and squeaky clean. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I love going through the drive through car wash. It's just so gosh darn satisfying. Now, once I got out of there, I was so happy that my car was clean because it had been covered in pollen for weeks. I love her. The next thing we're gonna do is clean the wheels. I hadn't cleaned my wheels in a really long time, so we're gonna do it today. But before we do that, we're gonna put some protective gloves on because nobody wants to clean wheels with their bare hands because road dirt and stuff is disgusting and gross. I got my little uh, wheel cleaning brush from the auto store and since I don't have access to a hose, I got my portable pump sprayer from Home Depot. This is a good option. And we're gonna clean it up with Zep 505 degreaser. This degreaser and cleaner is a fast acting shop grade degreaser and cleaner, which removes oils, grease, and dirt. It's great for tools, workspaces, benches, grill exteriors, bike parts, and automotive wheels. It's safe to use on steel, stainless steel, and aluminum and plastic. And the best thing about it is it's ready to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet the wheels completely with my pump sprayer, and then I'm gonna go to town with my spray. Now I sprayed down the whole wheel and I let it sit on there for a minute or two while it did its cleaning magic. And then I don't know about you guys, but there's something really satisfying about a cleaning brush and brushing things clean. I don't know. I just get I just get enormous satisfaction out of like really brushing, getting in there. So I got in there completely, mixed you get to get all the nooks and crannies, and I washed all of the dirt and grime off of like the nasty, disgusting Boston city roads off my wheels. After I was done doing all the wheel scrubbing, I go ahead and rinse it down with my pump spare. And I gotta say something, if you don't have access to a hose, this is a pretty darn good product. I bought it from Home Depot for like $10, it's awesome. To find out where you can grab your own Zep products, visit the description down below for more information. I buy my Zep products from Home Depot, which I affectionately call the Homey D, one of my favorite places. <laughs> Thanks so much to Zep for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make more free content for you to enjoy. After my exterior was clean and no longer embarrassing, I decided to go to the next embarrassing thing, which was my dirty interior. You guys, this coffee had been in there for so long, I'm actually embarrassed. Uh, the next thing I did was clean my glove compartment. I hadn't really gone in there and cleaned my glove compartment like fully. Like I had sort of done a mediocre job last year but not an amazing job so i went in and i looked at all the documents i grabbed my registration and put it in an envelope that said registration because i figured you know at least i knew what was inside and where the registration was and then i found this bag from amazon web services i i don't know why this was in there i think it's my husband's from like a conference he went to I, I don't i don't know it's really weird so i decided to use it as my recycle bag and my trash bag so i grabbed all of the stuff from my 
glove compartment that I thought was unnecessary. My dad had owned this car before I did and it had a lot of his stuff on there and inside. Um, so some of the stuff was important and some of the stuff was not. So as long as you have the car, you should really keep all the documents pertaining to the car, like services you've had. Um, and I also found this map of Maryland because my parents live in Maryland. How sweet is that? How funny is it to find like paper maps because we don't use those anymore really so I loved finding that anyway I cleaned out the rest of the stuff I have this little purse thing in my car which I keep little car parts and also those little velcro things for your you know your pass your what is it the toll pass <laughs> anyway I had a really nice clean glove compartment and I was so excited to have it all clean and organized my next adventure was to clean out this little compartment in my car. I had all of these receipts. I'm not really sure what my deal was with saving the receipts, but for a while I was into saving or just stucking, sticking the receipts in there. I don't know what problem is. I uh, also found this receipt because I parked in Cambridge at a mall and it cost me $18 and I was angry all over again. So I should probably just throw those out or shred them or something. <laughs> anyway, I went also and organized this little section of my car. This is where I keep all of my personal personal items that I need for you know personal care. I got my hand cream from Trader Joe's, which is awesome, by the way, just as good as uh, L'Occitan. And I've got my feminine items for emergencies you never know and I also took out some business cards that I don't use anymore these are from when my business was hub neat organizing so I had to take those out and replace them with new ones I also had two FM tutors I'm not really sure why so I'm just gonna keep one and put the other one in my husband's car because I think he needs that one. I also had this little uh, container for change for when I park at meters and there's no app available because somehow that's still a thing. I don't know why, but I also had this little, uh, little wallet holder thing and I was like, why do I have this in my car? It has nothing in it. I've never touched it for like a year. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I also got rid of a bunch of trash in my car. I, for some reason, I have not been doing a good job of taking care of all of my trash needs in my car. I do have a little trash can, as you can see, but um, we haven't been paying too much attention to emptying it. I did find this little uh, pouch in my car as well. I'm not sure what that was doing in there, but we're gonna take it out. So I emptied my trash and that made me feel so much better. This little trash can is from a, a brand called High Road and it has Velcro on the bottom, which makes it stick to the bottom of my car Yes, so it doesn't slide around while I'm driving. That is the best thing in the world. And I think it's also like waterproof too. It doesn't, like if you spill something in there, it's not gonna spill, which is awesome. The next thing I did was scrape, scrapey scrape the sticker off my windshield. I hate, I was looking at it there every day going, you know, one day I'm either gonna get a new sticker or I'm gonna scrape windshield. But you know what? Since I'm moving to a different neighborhood, I'm gonna need another parking sticker for a different neighborhood. So in Boston, Every neighborhood has a different parking sticker, so I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, get a different parking sticker. So I just went ahead and cleaned that off, and then I cleaned the inside of my windshield because sometimes that gets a little bit gross with fingerprints as well. I just took a microfiber cloth with a little bit of water on it and just went to town, and that did a really, really, really excellent job. I also cleaned the rear view mirror because that can get really disgusting as well. And it's so much better when you can actually see in the mirrors and it's nice and clear. Well, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's a little disturbing. And just with my microfiber cloth, I went and cleaned sort of the interior parts of my car. I usually dust this as well, and you'll see I'll dust a little bit later on the parts that were really, really, uh, that I didn't get with my uh, microfiber cloth. But I also love to use the Swiffer in my car i really should keep one in my car for you know because the car gets really dusty the interior it's disgusting and it wouldn't be a car of mine if i didn't have potting soil on the carpet in the passenger seat of my car from all the plants I've been bringing home. Yep, we have potting soil accidents. So I took the rug out, uh, shook it out and vacuumed it and also vacuumed underneath of the rug with my Dyson cordless vac. You guys know I love this thing. I have been using it since 2013 and it is the best vacuum in the world, I love it. It hasn't lost any suction. It's just a, a good friend. And I take it out and I clean my car with it and I put my carpet back and I was very happy to have it clean. And I'm excited for the next time that the, that the pot of plants spill and put more potting soil in there. 
<laughs> I also cleaned my little doggy seat, which I call my buddy seat for Clover. <laughs> it gets full of like rocks and dirt from the park. So I went in with my vacuum and cleaned it right up. It gets really, really satisfyingly clean. And I love, I, I just, I love how clean it gets. I also cleaned up like underneath it and around it because there was like nasty dirt there. And I grabbed my leather wipes because you know that I had paw prints all over my leather seats. So I decided to grab something to protect my leather seats from the paw prints. I grabbed this from uh, Target and it's awesome and I really like it. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. I am all done cleaning and organizing the car, so. Really? Okay, so the main thing I, I did that I really didn't show is I vacuumed these little like I don't know what these are called, these little crevices in here because they got really full of dog hair and dust. So that was really an important thing to do when you wash your car and clean your car. Don't forget these little spots in between there, especially if there's like a little carpet or something, it was really gross. Um, but I have my glove compartment here and it is so much neater than it was. We just have the instruction manual, which I actually look at a lot. <laughs> um, all of the documents and I got my registration here so I don't forget and my scraper, I put this in and I was pointing out uh, in that it says AFES, which is fun, 49 cents. I got my backup FM tuner and a little bit of change and some random stuff that was in there. Um, I'd like to add some mints to this, but you know, hey, it's okay. It's a neat glove compartment anyway. Main thing I reorganized with this was this little area here. This is where I keep all of my like, you know, driver supplies. So I cleaned this out and I have a little, uh, what is this, a coaster? My mother-in-law gave this to me, look. It's a car coaster, it says Cavalier with King Charles, so it's really cute. I just put it in here because why not? And I am definitely ready in case of any sort of emergency. I normally keep toothbrush and toothpaste in here too, but uh, I don't know what happened to it. I should put it in here, but I usually keep toothbrush and toothpaste in here. So I've got my hand lotion, which I use all the time. I've got some hand wipes, which these are the Urban Essentials. Um, these are a little bit fancier, but if you're out, you know, you wanna be like spoiling yourself. I got extra pencils for rehearsals. Um, I've got my tissues in here. I've got my change for the meters and my pack of feminine items. Yes, we've got tampons and pads because, you know, you're a woman and you never know. So we cleaned out Clover's seat and now it's a lot cleaner than it was. I also keep extra poop bags uh, and an extra leash in there. So that's there. It was from my dog organizing video and I got this. It's from a brand called Turtle Wax. Um, you know, they make car stuff. And I figured it would be great to put on the seat because when Clover gets into the car, he jumps up this way and he jumps on the seat and he gets his little like disgusting muddy paws there. So I figured it would be first line of defense to put a little uh, seat protector there and what's great about it is it's got a little pocket so in the pocket I've put a bottle of water and some leather cleaning wipes so that way I have those there and of course you guys know I emptied the trash I put some uh, trash already in there but uh, I emptied the trash and this has come in so handy I highly recommend this to anybody that's organizing their car is to get a car trash can I love this thing it's been great for years so now I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my trunk very exciting <laughs> so um, in my car or in these cars there's a little like first aid kit so I just replenish that make sure that everything is up to date in there and of course there is a big umbrella back there I have a little umbrella in the passenger um, on the sorry on the driver's side of my car but I like to have the big umbrella back there so a client actually gave me their that umbrella so I it reminds me of them every time I use it and I really like it I've got my Lotus shopping bags trolley shopping bags in here just in case I stop at the grocery store these are awesome I will link the video up above in which I talked about these these are incredible incredible and I've got my little organizer back here which has all of my uh, organizer tools and uh, some chocolates <laughs> so I've got some extra shopping bags these are um, bins that twist up and down. actually I'll show you Anyway, I use those at clients' houses all the time to organize stuff, to make piles, so I know that Container Store discontinued those, but I will find something like them uh, for you to purchase if you're interested in those, uh, and I'll put it in the description down below. They're very, very handy. Um, these are the double ones. I know that Container Store do does still make these, so I also have um, bags, trash bags. I had these out, but I decided to use this little Sephora bag, <laughs> and that's Boston, to put all of my trash bags and stuff that I have for clients. So I usually keep a bunch of recycling bags and trash bags for uh, going to client jobs. 
And lastly, this is my organizing kit uh, with all of my organizing supplies in it. It's a little messy right now because I've been in and out of there, but if you want to see exactly what's inside there, I do have a video that I did uh, with a little organizing kit tour and I will link it up above as well. So I am hot and sweaty, but my car is clean and shiny and neat and not full of trash anymore. So if you guys have any awesome car organizing tips for your cars, if you guys have kids, I bet you have some different tips. Leave a comment down below and let me know or let everybody know what your best car organizing and cleaning tips are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Zep for sponsoring this video and I will help you having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I want to dedicate this video to my dad, Adrian, who has been influencing me since I was really little. And he taught me how to drive and he taught me how to take care of my car. And he actually gave me my car that I uh, am taking care of now. It's a lovely hand-me-down. So thanks dad for teaching me everything I need to know. I hope you're proud. Bye guys.